Well, neighbors tell us they saw two young men standing underneath this park pavilion here on North 8th Street. A few minutes later, neighbors say they heard gunshots, all just as students were being dismissed from a nearby school. Um, it was in this, this uh, back right corner. Jason Birchfield was outside his home when he heard five gunshots at the nearby park. He says two young men were talking with another man and woman who pulled up in a black Kia when the shooting happened. So I was surprised that I didn't see anyone, you know, laying on the ground or, or no one that was actually hurt. Instead, he says the two men ran and the other people got in their car and left. Yeah, it was crazy. My wife and um, son, they just left. It was pretty obvious that it was gunshots and there were so many that um, it was no question in our minds. The shooting happened around one this afternoon, right as more than 220 students were being dismissed from the future school of Fort Smith just a few blocks away. The school was locked down until police arrived. I ran up uh, one side of the block and said everybody get inside and um, my heart was pounding but I wanted to make sure that they were all safe and I know the rest of my administrative team did the same thing as well. Witnesses say one of the guys who ran away was wearing a yellow backpack but they don't think he was the shooter. I think it was the people in the car they were just acting kind of sketchy about it as they were leaving. He had a big black hoodie on and um, seemed like he was covering something up. And police say they have not had any reports of injuries from the shooting. And as of right now, they've not made any arrests. We'll have more coming up tonight at 6. Live at Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.